In this demo, let's explore some of the secure access management and troubleshooting features recently introduced. With the merge of monitoring, 40 view and dashboard pages into a unique location, AIM is to ease diagnostic and troubleshooting. From a unique location, you can drill down top to bottom in few clicks from a Wi-Fi else dashboard to manage AP and then to connected stations. As we can see, the Wi-Fi dashboard is containing key widgets such as AP status, channel utilization, connected clients per IP, signal strengths of connected station, detected rogue IPs, client history per band and total, interfering SSIDs, and logging failures. With the help of health metrics as well as the drill down capabilities, troubleshooting issues has never been so easy. The dashboard is the start of your troubleshooting journey. But how to approach an issue when the IT help desk receives a call? Some users do complain about wireless and most of the time do not provide more description. From the dashboard, we can drill down to AP level. The AP pane is providing an instant view of radios, clients, wireless source of interferences, logs, and other troubleshooting tools. From the client section, we can see one station that is flapping without any AP. Let's check if VLANs are properly configured. Yes, there are. We can see that the AP could properly detect all three configured VLANs. Let's look at logs. The log page is allowing to quickly filter on specific elements such as station, IP, SSID, channel, and much more. In our case, we will filter on the log level to detect potential issues. It seems that one station is being misconfigured with wrong PSK and trying to connect in loop. IT engineer went to fix the issue on the IoT station. We now go down to the station list and you can see it is being connected. When filtering for the station MAC address, logs are also reflecting a successful connection from probe, authentication, association, four-way uncheck, radius if any, and DHCP. It is including successful and unsuccessful attempts. Logs do not show anything suspect. Since the PSK change, everything is okay. We already checked logs AP VLAN. By drilling down to the AP level, we can see channel utilization in one zone being quite high. With the help of the third radio, dedicated to perform monitoring, which is present in all our newer access points, we are now starting a spectrum analysis. We can easily switch between both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. We can also choose as X axis to have frequency or channel number. Oh, 5 GHz band is quite heavily used. Our built-in spectrum analysis tool is allowing any 40 AP to be converted in a powerful troubleshooting tool without any extra cost. The spectrum analysis pane is providing signal interference, signal interference spectrogram, duty cycle, duty cycle spectrogram. A dedicated section is also allowing to visualize interference classification when being detected. Whether or not you know which AP is seeing the issue or impacted, integrated wireless maps can help you to quickly visualize floors and AP and get quick indication in terms of channel utilization, operating takes power, channel being used, and the amount of stations. And that for all bands. We've seen how easy it was to read on from dashboard to AP. We also have the capacity to do so on a per station basis. If the spectrum is being used, a potential cause could be a connected station. Oh, one station is having 300 megs of bandwidth. The user drill down, giving a complete health summary in terms of signal to noise ratio, signal strength, band, and transmission errors. Some other elements, such as username, MIMO type, IP address, SSID, or VLAN, helps to quickly identify the station. The bottom part is showing instant or historical view in terms of performance, applications, traffic destination, match firewall policies, and wireless station logs. Output can be in list or bubble view to ease analysis. Lux source can be one of the configured, such as Fortinizer, memory, and so on, and can be filtered between live, last hour, last day, or last seven days. In our case, the station initiated a large download from an internet source and is properly highlighted by 40OS GUI. You can see it is taking majority of downloaded traffic. The power for security-driven than working DNA, we can perform some actions on this host. We will quarantine the station in order to allow IT engineer to fix a potential issue. Once done, we can clearly see the station being quarantined and its corresponding traffic would immediately stop. 
When being plugged to the network, our APs would try different ways in order to discover the controller. One discovery method being 40 AP Cloud. If statically configured, or if being ordered with 40 deploy, once reaching 40 AP Cloud, it can be automatically redirected to the correct wireless controller, being a 40 gate. Wireless controller can be either a static IP or a domain name. Distributed environment where you have multiple sites with multiple 40 gates and or multiple APs, 40 manager can ease the configuration, management and troubleshooting. From AP manager, you can create AP groups and perform actions such as upgrade, restart and so on on each group. Also from list of AP, locate it on a map and from the map, see on which floor it is. The map would show else value for those APs and also allow 40 manager itself to perform a spectrum analysis on demand action. As you can see, 40 manager and 40 OS do share the spectrum analysis pane in order to provide a unique user experience. AP manager is also allowing to create and manage all your wireless profiles and apply them in few clicks to any of your managed APs. Profiles such as AP profile, SSID, wireless IDS profile, Bluetooth profile, QoS, and Bonjour profile. Wireless being an essential piece of the security fabric, we didn't stop there. With the power of 40 manager, 640 is introducing 40WLM, or dedicated wireless LAN management platform, as a 40 manager docker. You can then have a central view of all your managed devices and APs. Network summary is allowing admins to quickly identify issues giving a station summary in terms of operating system, radio band, weak signal, packet loss and neutralize, wireless throughput, and so on. Then detailed AP and stations are zooming on a specific AP or station in order to get much more detail and information. Also, we can see a station event correlation, highlighting potential source of issue. With the powerful 40OS application control database, all user traffic can be categorized and potentially blocked. This is then reflected in Application Control tab. Applications are grouped by type and split by user, with a possible read-on to get much more information. Finally, it maps help to see if the floor coverage is enough, but also get some else metric such as connected stations, channel utilization, packet loss or throughput, giving instant view of the network else.